welcome back to News Geelong. The Bowen Health Foundation hosts a series of events throughout the year to raise money for the Geelong Hospital Annual Appeal. But none is bigger and better than the Gala Day Parade and the Family Fun Day, now in its 94th year. The streets of Geelong saw another magnificent Gala Day Parade, as Steph Cowdery reports. So it's Gala Day again and we are here actually on the parade and it's a real community day. It's the 94th annual parade here in Geelong raising money for the Geelong Hospital Appeal. So Gala Day in its 94th year and it's only getting bigger and better. In the parade today we've got such a range of people here. We've got Rotary Clubs, Sporting Clubs, the Geelong Bikies Association, um, dance troops. We've got owls handing out lollies a great day for everyone especially the young kids but a day for the young at heart as well and a great way to begin the family fun day uh, starting off here at the parade and heading down uh, to Eastern Beach we've got great entertainment uh, people there with the kids we have Dora Spongebob Angelina ballerina and youth activities for teenagers a great way also to showcase the diversity of Geelong and to celebrate the community and the achievements over the past 94 years. And aside from that, we've also got to think that we're raising money for a great cause today for the Geelong Hospital Appeal, helping residents and young kids uh, and everyone in need who are suffering at this time. So a great way to come together as a community. Thank you, Steph. And continuing on after the parade, it was down to the Steam Packet Gardens with an afternoon of family fun that featured Dora the Explorer, SpongeBob SquarePants, Angelina Ballerina, and the one and only Humphrey B. Bear, as Lani Salathi will join in all the fun. Thanks, Graham. Well, it's a beautiful day down here at the 94th Annual G-Force Gala Day. We're down here at the moment at the Family Fun Day. We've had the parade and we finished up here. And as you can see up there on the stage, there's all the acts, including Dora the Explorer, SpongeBob SquarePants, Humphrey B. Bear. And we've also got the ski stunt show down happening on the water as well pretty soon. So hopefully we'll get some footage of that. And uh, that's pretty amazing as well. So let's um, see if we can grab some people and see how their gala day is going. Well, I'm here with Kat and uh, Kat, how are you enjoying your gala day today? Oh, it's fantastic. Fantastic for Geelong. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Did you see the parade at all today as well? I sure did. I caught a glimpse of the parade. Um, yeah, picked up a couple of bargains at the markets. Yeah, and what have you got from the markets today? Oh, a lovely necklace. I think I might pull it out this evening. <laughs> How's your gala day going today? Really good. Great weather and kids are loving the Dora show. So. It is absolutely beautiful weather, isn't it? It is, surprisingly, for considering the past week. Yeah, exactly. And this is your little girl here. She's obviously loving Dora. What's her name? Her name's Eden. Eden, are you liking Dora today? <laughs> are you enjoying your gala day and family fun day today? Yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah? Yeah. And we've got Destiny up there on your shoulders. Do you like Dora the Explorer? Are we ready, silly chicken? Yeah. Yeah, she does. <laughs> and beautiful weather they've put on today for us. Perfect, isn't it? Yep. Just marvellous. Couldn't ask for a better day. Thank you, Lani, and well hosted at the Steam Packet Gardens main stage last Saturday. The Surf Coast Shire Council has adopted the revised final Bells Beach Surfing Reserve Coastal Management Plan for the internationally renowned Bells Beach Surfing and Coastal Reserve. In exciting news, the Victorian Government recently announced the allocation of $300,000 to Bells Beach from the Sustainable Small Town Development Fund, as Debbie Meany reports. Upgrades to Bells Beach are included in a new master plan. I caught up with the Surf Coast Shire Mayor, Libby Coker, to tell me about the plan and how it will impact on visitors and users of Bells Beach. But Bells Beach is a very popular area. There's some uh, plans afoot. Yes, look, Bells Beach is very significant to our region. It's at, at the start of the Great Ocean Road uh, and the gateway to Surf Coast on near Torquay. It has experienced significant visitation. We get 2.5 million people down the Great Ocean Road each year. Many of those people stop and look at Bells and experience where the Rip Curl Pro is held every year. And we also have around 60 buses which stop at Bells Beach every day. Now, we're uh, 
the managers of that surfing reserve and we have just put out a new master plan. As a consequence of that master plan we've been um, it has been announced the state government will provide $300,000 to actually build new toilets and upgrade existing toilets in that precinct. We now do want to work further with state and federal governments to secure around $3.5 million to actually look at environmental initiatives to ensure we don't have land slip on the cliffs, that we manage the buses, that we have uh, safe uh, movement between pedestrians and motorists and that we ensure that everyone can enjoy Bells well into the future. And that won't impact on the surfing community? Well the surfing community have been involved through our advisory committee in giving their views on what they'd like to see Bells, uh, I suppose the plan for Bells into the future. They're, they have been listened to and we are now, we have decided to stay with the existing footprint, no expansion of the land and I think through having better management of the visitation uh, from people outside our community, which includes surfers and the local surfers, that it will be safer for everyone and easier for everyone to get around. This is Debbie Meany in Torquay for News Geelong. Thank you Debbie. This is News Geelong as we go to a break and return with sport and weather after this.